Here we go. There we go. All right, and we are live for real. Says we are live-ish. 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 Live, I wish. There it is. All right. I got to watch a little ad on my own channel here. Uh -huh. So hello. You have to watch an ad on your own channel. Huh? All right. We are actually live for real nice. this time. Cool. Hello, everybody. So Matt and I have been sitting here uh, doing the podcast for about five minutes. And <laughs> I, was, I didn't set the stream up right. But now I did. So now we're um, back in there. Yeah. So, so we're going to we're going to restart. Yeah. No, um, no shame in that. I think it's awesome that you wanted the topic to be a surprise up front. And uh, and and you accidentally showed me the picture. And then we had and then we had a five minute conversation about it at the beginning. So now so you're this is like as far away from yeah. a surprise as it gets. <laughs> you're going to have to really work hard to act like this yeah, is yeah, a surprise yeah, yeah. now because it is not it. at all. So, yeah. Matt. Um, I'm sure you don't know any of these facts, right. but helmets have been used since 2000 BC by the ancient Sumerians, which uh, is the Sumerians were uh, in between the Arabian Peninsula and what's what was Persia at the time. So Middle East, 2000 BC, that's when our earliest records of helmets being used was they were used in military purposes and they were fairly effective. Getting hit in the head by a rock or an arrow or a sword is bad. It's not nearly as bad if you've got a helmet on. Um, yeah. They it were makes a bit of a difference, right? Very big difference. Yeah. They were made of things, uh, copper and stone and iron and all kinds of different things all the way up through the Middle Ages. And they um, basically became obsolete in the 1600s because firearm technology got too good. So and they were I mean, they, you were saying that they uh, kind of evolved together, right? Like as, as the weaponry got better, so did the armor. They did. They participated in a back and forth arm race. So swords would be made of something better that could penetrate certain armor and they would make better armor out of that that swords couldn't penetrate. And then a hundred years later, someone else would. And it went back and forth for a while. Um, but then guns got so good that they made armor pretty much obsolete there was no way they could make armor that could resist um, the firearms at the time because of things like rifling and different types of propellant made it so that and let, certainly no mass producible armor could block a bullet. So they just decided that it was better to just not have to wear that crappy thing on their head because yes. why, why should they? They were yeah. like, this thing is weighing me down. If I'm going to get hit with a bullet, this thing's not going to stop it anyways. So exactly. And they, it costs money and, you know, the, your Lord is not going to waste money on you and all this. So they took a hiatus. Helmets did because um, in World War One, even though helmets still couldn't block bullets, World War One saw heavy use of artillery. And the main threat from that is um, shrapnel and fragments and things like that, which helmets are effective against. They were heavily used in World War II because artillery got better. Hand grenades were widely used. And um, helmets absorb shrapnel very well. So even a small rock or something that hits you in the head can hurt. It can disorient you. And helmets protect against that. I call it a might as well helmet. A might as well helmet. A might as well helmet. You might as well. They were like, <laughs> you might as well have it. Uh, helmets like that would have looked um, like this. This was called the uh, the Stahlhelm, and I think this is a German one. As you pointed out, there's a seat belt for your chin here. Yeah, super comfortable seat belt. Nice little the, seat belt. Chin seat belt. That's nice. That looks nice. It does. Um, you probably have to wear it in a little bit. Probably fresh off the fresh off the assembly line. It's got a little. You get uh, chin burn, but ooh. then after you wear it in, it's probably probably pretty good. Yeah, uh, you could probably just tape it to your beard because you kind of <laughs> already have like a you already have a chin seat belt. Right, I could braid it in maybe. Uh, these were going back to the type of helmets they would have used in the Middle Ages. Good God! Yeah. How much do you think that thing weighs? I don't know. It looks like it's made of iron, so it's probably just like having a big rock on your head. Uh, uh. So like a second skull, but bigger and heavier. I just don't see that, like helping <laughs> i guess if you got hit by a sword but when i think about those times i think about like you're trying to uh 
take a castle and they're dropping rocks like above you and stuff. Oh yeah. And I just feel like if a rock like bumped the top of that thing, like it wouldn't like then that Dude. thing would just cut your head off probably. Yeah, I wouldn't do anything. <laughs> Not a thing. So oh here we go. Sorry, it's just let me know. Um and then finally we are coming up to the end of the, the historical part is this here is the current helmet used by the U.S. military. It Bad was actually ass. just adopted a year ago, so it's only been in service for a year, and they've kind of, it's as much as is it about protection, there's communications equipment built in and accessories and lights and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, so this is what, um, that eventually became this, the <laughs> apex of helmet evolution. I don't know, man. Maybe... Maybe, maybe I like the other one better, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. If, it's cool. Hey, if you put some of those accessories onto this one, like if you put some lights and like communications into that, I think best of both worlds. I think it would look really stupid, to be honest. <laughs> Just like stick a flashlight on the side of that. Yeah, a big <laughs> flashlight. So, Matt, um, we were just talking before the stream, before we realized I wasn't streaming. Indeed. You've done a bunch of modifications to your garage. Yeah, I'm renovating construction it. stuff. And you wore a helmet for all of this, correct? I would hope so. Yeah. Yeah. I've been wearing helmets the whole time. Good. Uh, big helmets, small helmets, uh, and everything in between. Good. Yeah. I've been wearing helmets. I wear gloves. And uh, yeah, OSHA, it fits all the OSHA requirements. It's been amazing. Well, good. Um, because helmets save lives. Lots of lives. If you had to guess... How many lives do you think helmets save every single year? So I guess my question for my question to your question is how, like if someone bonks their head, how do they know I would have died if I didn't have a helmet? Scientists, Matt. <laughs> okay. Scientists figure out, oh, well, yes, based on the velocity of the impact, the helmet absorbed yeah. this percentage. Well, it's in like, all okay. seriousness, they probably look at the helmet and they're like, that would have been your skull. Right. Uh, okay. So you're alive right. because of this. Yeah. So. Okay. I'll accept that. Um, 10,000. Uh, uh, actually, not even near that many. In the U.S. In the U.S. only. This is only America. Uh, 400. 2,000. Hey. So you're kind of right in the middle of the exponential growth. Like, yeah. first overshot it by a lot and then undershot it by. Yeah. So, um, yeah, 2,000 a year. It's estimated that an additional 1,000 could be saved every year by people who died but weren't wearing helmets. So had they been, about 1,000 people could be alive. Um, mm. Most... Uh, most of these involve motorcyclists. Okay, yeah, that's what, that's what I was going to ask. Is this just like, does this take in like skateboarders and cyclists and and uh, who else wears helmets? <laughs> um, construction workers probably. Yeah, someone okay. who took their helmet off when they weren't supposed to, and something fell and hit them. But it's mostly motorcyclists. It's mostly motorcyclists because okay. riding a motorcycle is insanely dangerous because you're you're doing what a car does, but you're just exposed. You know, yeah. you see those people on the highway who, who merge in and out of lanes going 70 on a motorcycle. Like, but some, damn, does it feel good with that breeze in your beard? And have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Not once. I really, yeah, I, I've never driven one. <laughs> not once. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, my, my, my grandpappy used to be a motorcyclist and, uh, oh. he had, he had the Indian motorcycles. And I've always thought about if, if I ever had enough money to get a motorcycle, I'd like to get an Indian. Those things are pretty cool. An Indian? That's like the brand? Yeah, it's it's like a, I mean, they used to be much more popular probably in like the 60s or, or whatever. Okay. Now, now it's all Harley Davidson. But I went on their site and uh, Indian motorcycles are still going. I think in Greensboro, actually, where uh, you and I both used to live, um, Greensboro, North Carolina, they had... Uh, Indian motorcycle shop there. Really? Yeah. I'd never heard of that. The well, although the only motorcycle brand I would know is Harley Davidson. Right. Because it's just like the one, you know. I think Indian now because it's so like vintage cool, it's like the hipster motorcycle. It's like if if you're driving I mean, no offense to anyone who has an Indian, I want one. But I, I think um it's like the hipster like it's like 
because a lot of people they haven't heard of it. I don't know. It's ro- it's retro. Yeah. Okay. So it used to be the cool thing 50 years ago, so now it's cool again. Right. I mean, they've got some pretty like techy like new bikes though that really? that look really cool. Um anyways. Well, if you ever get it, let me take it for a ride. I'll let you hop on the back. No doubt. Now, before um tight. Before we get off the topic of history of helmets, I want to I want to do hist- history again here and I'm going to show you some images of helmets and I want you to tell me what nation they were used by and what their name is. Okay? Oh, gosh. So what is what is uh what is this guy here called? That's called the clamshell. The go- uh Oops. golden dimpled clamshell. The golden dimpled clamshell. Yeah. What society do you think used this? That's France. It is actually called. It's, you were kind of close, to be honest. The frog mouth. Frog mouth. The frog mouth. The frog mouth, well, and it was used. You, it was used by Germany in the 1400s to 1600s. That's German. It is German, based on my okay. research. They're really preserving the neck there. I think they're just they're assuming a lot about uh, mm-hmm. people taking shots to the neck. That one looks like it probably took a couple too. It does, um, and uh, you were close though because you know clams and frogs are both. Sisters, aquatic, sure. Sisters, <laughs> I don't know. I don't they're know. not sisters. What is this yeah. called? Oh, Jesus! This is actually one you might know. This this is a name that most people have heard. That looks like a, a kerosene heater. A kerosene heater? Do you think that's what it's called? Yeah. Well, the the cone tipped kerosene heater. The cone tipped kerosene heater. I yeah. like that name better. It's called the bassinet. Oh, uh, is it Bassinet? Now, now I feel like I should probably know who it's from based off the name. Is that French? No, although it's it is a it's a similar sounding language to French. They're both uh, Roman based. Who, who Latin, is it? Latin. It's uh, it's, it's Italian. Italian. Okay. So yeah, Italy in the 1300s used this. And, that one um, looks. Pardon my French. <laughs> so so dumb. Like Does this it? one this one looks so dumb. Like they overcomplicated the hell out of it. Hmm. Oh, okay, hold on. I kinda like I kinda like the uh the pivot point up there where you can kind of like lift it maybe. Yeah, you can it's the faceplate comes off, I think. Like that's what you're talking about? You can just lift this whole thing yeah, up. Yeah, it looks like it looks like you could lift it pretty well. Maybe that's why it's cone shaped. It just sits right on the back of that weird shaped cone. Yeah. And um, you can just I keep wincing in pain. I threw my shoulder out really bad last night. What? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's weird. Like cert you know, certain movements just like hurt really bad. Yeah. And at first it wasn't a problem because everything hurts, so I was I was really cautious of it. But over the day it's healed a bit, so mm-hmm. less positions hurt so i'm getting careless and i'll like that really sucks man you should probably look into uh like some shoulder pads which you probably didn't know are the helmet of the shoulder oh yeah you didn't think you'd be learning something today, I, did I, I didn't especially not about helmets yeah shoulder I, did, helmets. I did all the research and i never saw a single academic calling shoulder pads the helmet of the shoulder or the shoe the helmet of the foot or anything like that exactly yeah that's what they're all called do they make helmets for beards? Yeah. What are those called? I can't tell you. It's a secret amongst bearded folk. I don't know what it would be called. I got a beard. A beard. Yeah. 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 What is this called, smart guy? Huh? What was this? What was this oh, called? Oh, God. That is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's been... Ugh. Mum, mummy faced. <laughs> a, a solidified mummy face. Ah. It is called the sale. Okay. Uh, S A L L E T. I don't know if the T is silent. French. Uh, Hungary. <laughs> Hungarian from the 15th century. I'm going to say French every time. Yeah. <laughs> you do. <laughs> well, do you think uh, this one was French? No, that is Mongolian as hell. Nice. Yes, it is. Is it? Yeah. I figured it's, yeah. Um, it's a big, big misconception people have about the Mongols is that they were like naked tribesmen, but they wore tons of armor. 
Um, most of it is originated in China, as a lot of things in, in Southeast Asia do trace the roots back to Chinese civilizations. And it was the Qing Dynasty, I think, that pioneered this style of helmet. And okay. that made its way into the Mongol hordes during Genghis Khan's conquest in the 1200s. Yeah, so, yeah I this feel like he could have done known. more. He could have what? I feel like he could have done more. With his helmet work? No, with uh, Gen- uh, Genghis Khan's just conquering, I feel like he probably could have done just a little bit more. Oh, yeah, he really did not make it that far. <laughs> yeah, he was like, hey, China, Persia, all the most important civilizations. But... Yeah, he's pretty lazy, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm going to leave. Yeah, well, he died. He died. There's actually a big debate in, uh, in among academics of how successful they would have been going into Europe because of how different it was everywhere else because the terrain was very different it was very rocky um the type of warfare they implemented was different is and it is is the their warfare uh what the dothrakis are based off of i think uh, Game of Thrones? I, I always saw the dothraki as being a mix of mongolian and native american okay because again the mongols were not like tr- tribal or they, they were tribal but they were um yeah, they were, um, they were. I wouldn't say more civilized. I mean, most cultures back then were were pretty barbaric, but yeah, uh, big differences between them and the Mongols. But I think they, the idea of them, the way people fear mm-hmm. them, is is definitely I think supposed to be a reference to the Mongols. Cool. Um, but uh, yeah, the Mongols also also were very strategically smart. They weren't like this. Just be brave and go in and die if that if you need to. They would they would set up ambushes and do false retreats and all kinds of stuff. Wow! But and I personally think their helmet is one of the coolest. I yeah, don't for sure. Really, I wondered about this if this is to keep warm. Ah, uh, because it's yeah. you know Mongolia is a pretty cold place. Right. Um, right. Parts of it are. It's also. Uh, Definitely the most detailed helmet. I mean, like, it's, it's got the most detail for sure. It is. I wonder if this was, like, a ceremonial version for, like, a captain or something. Because I, uh, I don't think they would waste. Yeah, that last one still sucks. Yeah, you wouldn't, you don't think that looks cooler than this, Matt? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is legit so <laughs> infinitely worse. Look at how bad your, like, range of vision would be, too, with these. Yeah. Yeah, you can't see anything. Not a thing. And... Ugh. Ugh, it's just horrible. Is it just like plaster? Um, so that's all the real helmets. What was the what was the uh, Mongol helmet called? Did you say? Oh, it was called the. Um, it sounds like yurt. It's called the yuan, yuan, the Yuan helmet. From what I saw, okay. uh, I don't know if like the name Yuan was an overarching category for all of the armor they wore. Um, I kind of slapped okay. this section together, so. But cool. what I saw called it the Yuan helmet, which is a Chinese name, I believe, Yuan. And um, yeah, that's what the Mongols rocked when they when they took over most of the known world at the time. Badass. Badass. But uh, even more badass are fictional helmets. You know, helmets have played a huge role in fiction. You don't really think mm-hmm. about that. But I'm going to show you a few helmets and I want you to see if you can tell me who they belong to and what franchise they're from. Right. Okay. So, uh, what is you ready for this? I don't want you to get overwhelmed or anything, but I'm not ready do you for know it. what this is from and who who wore that? It's a character. I'll give you a hint. Yeah, it's from he's a, a sci-fi. Nice it's a sci-fi movie. I'll give you a hint. He's a super nice guy. Super nice guy. Um, it's wonderful to be around. The face underneath was very clean and looked very nice. Mm-hmm. Um, You're on a roll yeah, now. I know You're who on this one is because I uh, am ashamed to say I just watched all of the Star Wars movies um, this past year for the first time. I'd seen bits and pieces before, but uh, that's Darth Vader, right? That is good old Darth Vader. Good old Darthy Vader. And um, I'm just I'm weirded out because this looks like a thumbtack here. Doesn't that look like a thumbtack? It does look like a thumbtack. And on the other side, just a straight up Phillips head screw. Now this one, you actually would probably recognize before I would. What is this? You know this? Oh, that's Halo, baby. Yeah. What's his name, though? Uh, Sergeant Master General. It's like some, some crazy. Close. That's close. 
One of the one of those words was correct. Was it <laughs> uh, master? It was Master Chief. Master Chief, Sergeant Master, Master Chief. Chief General. That's right. Just Master Chief. Sergeant Chief Master what? Sergeant Master Chief General, upstanding citizen. What is this one? Uh okay, okay. This is from a game. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's one Bates don't... played. Um, the one with the with a lot of place that you could go. Yes. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the dumbest way you can word that. <laughs> that was like the game's call to fame, though. A lot of right, place. Yeah. That could have been their slogan. There's a lot of place you can go. <laughs> that was what there's it a, bragged about. There's a lot of place you could go I'll here. Get okay. out of here oh, God, dude. Uh, <laughs> he would be so mad at me because I, I forget. Um, uh, you had a nickname for it that was inappropriate, which I don't want you to repeat. <laughs> but you added. I don't a, say anything inappropriate ever. You added a word at the end of it, and it made it a joke. Um, what's the, what's what's the game called? Skyrim. You remember Skyrim? I remember Skyrim. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the inappropriate. I think I can uh, I can conjure some jokes right now. Just yeah. Off the tip. You put a synonym for working at the end of it. Okay. What's yeah. next? <laughs> so this uh, this was like the f- the weird thing about this helmet was it was like the s- the logo for the game practically, but in the game it was terrible. Yeah. It was like the f- you know it's an RPG, so it's all about the numbers and the stats. Right, and this right. was like the first That's one you get. And they were worthless and a dime a dozen. Hey, true or false? The Vikings helmets did they have horns? Did the Vikings wear horned helmets? Um, I don't know. I, I, I would say no. Maybe they didn't. They did not. They did not because helmet a uh, horns on your helmet would be the worst idea because someone yeah. could like grab you and just yank you around by it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The idea of horned helmets seemed to have just propped up out of nowhere. I'm sure there's history behind it, but everyone thinks of horned helmets when they think of Vikings, and that is. Or there's just like some guy named Jeff in like 1992 who was like, you know what? It would look cool if there was a horn on a helmet. Why is and his name Jeff? Did that just come out of nowhere? I just think of like the guy that's like connected to Vikings the least. Like his name uh. is Jeff, and he lives, in, <laughs> he, he lives in Sacramento, and he just had this idea that horns would be the best. What is this helmet? That's hold on. This one has to do with music. Yeah, I know. Uh, Daft Punk. Yep. Nice. Daft I wouldn't Daft have Punk. recognized that at first. We're up all night for good fun. Is that Daft Punk? I don't know. I think so. I probably it does sound like them. I didn't realize. Get lucky. Uh, then we're gonna go into cartoons for a second. Whose helmet is this, Matt? I'd be interested. I don't know if you know this actually. Hold up, really? I don't know. It seems this like is rocket power, right? It is. <laughs> See, I didn't know if you if you had seen it. Dude, woogity woogity woogity. Woogity woogity, woogity woogity. Wait, was that it, or was it just woogity woogity woogity? It was woogity woogity woogity. Woogity 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 woogity. How do you spell that? God. W U W U G U D I D. Repeat. Oh, woogity. Got do you, it. Do you remember whose helmet this was? Otto. No. I, no, I bro. It was the squids. <laughs> the squid. <laughs> I remember. I remember an episode where the squid. Or was it like the first time he surfed? It was on an ironing board. I don't remember that. Okay. Well, I'd, I think so. Because he, the squid never surfed. And then he finally uh, caught a wave on an ironing board. This massive ironing board. Oh, like actually he took it out to the ocean and surfed yeah. on... Oh, that's absurd. Jeez. I feel like there was an episode where the squid surfed on an ironing board. Dude, he's such a shooby in that pic. Such a shooby. A <laughs> shooby. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, now this one you better get. If you don't get this one, then I just... I mean, What's the matter with you? I don't know what that is. You don't know the name of this helmet, Matt? This is the <laughs> Bell Race Starflex DLX 550 Carbon Shell Motorcycle Helmet. It's like you haven't right. been paying attention. <laughs> it's like I haven't been paying attention. Uh, so you fun. know what's insane? This thing is like 800 bucks. It's a motorcycle helmet. Looks like, like carbon fiber or something. It is. It was, That was in the name. <laughs> <laughs> And then 
<laughs> it looks like a belt. It controls on the side. But I went to this website in motorcycle helmets. There's this place that makes custom motorcycle helmets, and they're insanely expensive. They're like close to a thousand bucks. Um, but yeah, that's that's what this one is. The I don't even remember off the top of my head. Carbon fiber. Well, you'll be happy to know your score was. You got three out of five, and you couldn't. You didn't get Rocket Power's name. Or no, you got four out of six, and you did not get. Um, Rocket Power was a half get because you. Okay. You thought it was auto made. Okay. His helmet. Yeah, auto auto would never wear that. His helmet like had a had slits in it to let his hair poke through, which is what you need. Yeah, probably makes you better because you. You get cushioned by your hair and your helmet. Exactly. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know that, and that That's is true. That's genius. That's why they make it. That is why they make the slits in there. You're supposed to put your helmet on and then pick your hair through all the slits in your helmet. A lot of people don't know that. Like these. Yeah. So before you go out on your bike. You want to make sure it's, you just kind of, <laughs> yeah. I can't because my hair's not long enough. But. Well, it, it, it takes about an hour. It's about You're supposed to plan an hour before you um, do anything where you need a helmet. Very you nice. Put your helmet on and then get some tweezers and pull your hair through all those slits. That's very important. Basics explained. I think you're making that up. So, Basics explained. <laughs> um, you had been talking about sometime you like busted your face open because you weren't wearing your helmet. Yes. When you were skateboarding. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I used to skate when I was a kid and uh, ride a little skateboard. And um, when we would go to the skate parks and stuff, uh, there are a few where I live uh, around Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, you would have to either bring your own helmet or they would give you one that you could rent. But um, I guess like early 2000s, no one really cared if you wore a helmet. Uh, if you're just skating in front of your house. And at the time, uh, the house I was living at across the street, there was uh, another house uh, where no one lived. And the driveway was kind of at a slant. And um, I was just starting and I couldn't do any cool tricks, but I was just going up and down the hill. And uh, I went up the hill and came back down and hit a rock and I was not wearing a helmet. And I fell on my face and uh, I hit my eye. And uh, I had kind of blurred vision, had to go to the emergency room. And you, um, you still to this day have 20-20 vision? Yeah, yeah. It's no no Lucky. lasting effects or anything. I didn't break anything. Lucky. It was just like kind of bloodied and bruised right here. And uh, yeah. Man, I bailed once on a skateboard and I was wearing a helmet and I tore my face up. I was trying really? to go off a jump. Yeah, and I just... Like tore my face up and bloodied my nose. It probably wasn't that bad looking back on it. But you should have been wearing a Bell Carbon Fiber Flex Mask. Thirty two R. If I had this thing on, I would have been fine. Did you, you ever been... successfully do a kickflip? I could never do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, I, I could do some like flip tricks and things. I got so close and I could never quite land it. I could. I'm, uh, I could get it I'm to 20... do a full spin and I could never land. I'm 29 and uh, hop on a skateboard like maybe like once a year. Just to see if I still have some moves. I can still shove it. No way. Uh, and Ollie, of course. And uh, I can still do a couple things. I can get close to a heel flip still, but can't land it. Heel flip, I'd never even tried. Um, you know they're coming out with a new Tony Hawk game? I heard it's it is awesome. a, a, a redo of uh, one of the older ones, right? They're remaking the first three? I know the first two. I don't know if they're doing three as well. But um, so that's pretty much all I had prepared today. Uh, I kind of threw this one last minute together. This is the last one we'll be doing here. I'm an idiot and I forgot to set up the other place for streaming properly. So we don't get activated for streaming rights over there until tomorrow. So we have to wait until then. Um, But from now on, all these podcasts will be over there. You can follow us there. I'll put a link at the bottom of this. Matt, any last thoughts about the amazing world of helmets? Not about the amazing world of helmets. Just uh, just be on the lookout for the new YouTube channel. And we also have Instagram. Uh, and you can find us on Instagram at Basics Explained Pod, uh, where we'll oh, be can't. kind of... What's up? 
You made the, I didn't realize we had the Instagram app. We're on Instagram. Yeah, right. I think you follow it. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Basics Explained Pod on Instagram. And uh, yeah, we just kind of post some pictures from the live stream, uh, some funny, funny uh, thumbnail pictures or whatever. But yeah, go find us on Instagram. Cool, and cool. Uh, and yeah, look forward to the, the next one, Adam. All right. It'll be not nearly as cool of a topic. I don't really know how we'll ever beat helmets. Well, helmets is number one. Unfortunately, always. this is the coolest topic we've ever done. Yeah. So. Helmets is, yeah. We did rockets. We did. Uh, not very did, cool. Not very cool not compared cool. to helmets. Data storage. Uh, data storage. Lame. Helmets, way cooler. Uh, yeah. So we will see you guys next time at the new channel. And I should have a video coming out for this one this Friday. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for tuning in, all seven of you. And um, have a great evening. Matt, good to see you. Good have to see a wonderful you, evening. Remember to wear your helmet on the way to your uh, to your bedroom tonight. Every time I get in my car. What? Good, good.